Hi everyone, my name is Ben Quayle and I'm going to be talking about the needs assessment that I conducted for Virginia Mason Medical Center and the uh, staffing shortage that we're currently going through. So uh, if you look at the outline, um, I'm going to be talking about why I conducted this. I made a survey, I'm going to share some of those results, got a few statistics that you know kind of back up what's going on with this uh, staffing shortage, uh, some solutions I came up with and then a brief follow up. So Virginia Mason Medical Center, we're located up in Seattle, Washington. Uh, the last three years, it's been rated one of the top 50 hospitals in the US uh, by health grades. And the diagnostic imaging department there has been steadily losing people since February with no real end in sight just yet. So the objective or why I did this was just to kind of find out if it's affecting patient care and then find out if it's actually affecting employee morale and their well-being and then to determine if it's more cost effective to continue to let people work overtime or just you know offer new employees sign-on bonuses so the survey i put together it consisted of 15 questions and the questions asked things about you know do you work overtime what's the morale of the department like have you ever called out sick for work-related fatigue? Or is this affecting patient care? And do you feel valued as a whole? Uh, I gave the survey to 10 people and uh, only eight of them gave me back uh, the survey. So my sample size is eight people. Uh, and right off the bat, unanimous answers. 100% of the people think that the department is understaffed. So it's not just me. 100% of the people think that it's contributed to longer patient wait times. I actually have stats to back that up. 100% of the people think that the uh, department would benefit from hiring more per diem employees. Currently, we only have three per diem employees, and even if they worked every day, this is not going to solve our staffing shortage. 100% uh, of the people believe that it's affected... Uh, employee morale negatively. So if 100% of the people think that morale is down, it's, it's down. Uh, and then 100% of the people think that uh, we could be more efficient with better equipment. There's still some key areas in the hospital that still use CR equipment, and an upgraded DR would be nice. And uh, if you look, just a couple of uh, other interesting things is 75% of the people think that we're understaffed at least five days a week. A lot of people said every day, but the general consensus is kind of that it's just the weekdays are really bad. And then everybody said that they at least sometimes get more work than they can handle. 63% said that I sometimes get more work than I can handle. The other 37% uh, uh, said that they often got more work than they can handle. So everybody agrees on that. And if you look at the next slide, I made a couple of little charts that I found interesting. Um, Work-related fatigue. 75% of people said that they have called out due to work-related fatigue. 87% um, of the employees said that they do work overtime. Um, and a lot of people thought that they don't feel valued and that uh, the work is not distributed evenly. So the people that are showing up to work, not everybody's pulling their weight. So uh, kind of interesting to see that. Um, and then I got a uh, list of patient wait times. And Virginia Mason actually wants 85% of their patients to... Uh, uh, have a wait time of under five minutes, so 85%. And if you look at the uh, the chart here, um, January, we were at 92%. We're great. And then we started to lose people, and every single month it has actually gone down. And now we're all the way down to 78%, so we're below Virginia Mason's quota there. And uh, looking, June is not completely uh, compiled, but it's looking to be even lower than that. So patients are having to wait maybe this is detrimental to patient care um but it's it's i have the stats to back up that patients are waiting longer than they should and then overtime costs the average employee salary at virginia mason uh the the radiology department is 35 dollars 25 over the last month alone we've uh, been averaging 62 hours a week in overtime and we get paid one and a half times the pay so if you just take that 0.5 times pay that everyone's getting, we're losing over $4,300 a month just on that. So could put that towards a sign-on bonus or, you know, or something, you know, or that's literally just money down the drain at this point. 
So some of the solutions I came up with is we really do need to hire more per diem employees. They don't have benefits packages, things like that. So it's a relatively cheap solution just to get an employee in there that can, you know, soak up some of that overtime and maybe morale wouldn't be dropping and maybe people wouldn't be calling out for work-related fatigue. It's kind of the snowball effect and per diems would just be the cheapest solution to this. Um, perhaps offering sign-on bonuses to new employees. Like I said, this last month alone, we've lost over $4,000. You could have probably made a $4,000 sign-on bonus for a new employee, and we probably would have saved money, actually. And then another thing that's kind of further down the road is uh, retention bonuses. Um, you know, have employees, you know, offer them a thousand dollars and say, you need to work here for a year and people would gladly take that and everyone's morale might go up and we wouldn't have staffing issues. So overall, um, the follow up that I'm, I'm going to do is just say retention bonuses, they could work. It could be a long-term solution. Just, you know, I, I will offer you this little bonus and stay for a year and people will take that. We might not be in this solution. Um, per diem employees, once again, we need more of them, and perhaps just upgrading all the equipment to DR. There's actually um, a new law that got stated that said that um, uh, we're only going to be giving back um, so much reimbursement for Medicare and Medicaid uh, the, on machines that we're using CR. So it's actually we do need to upgrade to DR just for that reason, but it also makes it so much easier. We can see more patients. So just a couple of ideas, and um, I really think that they could work and help us uh, uh, get over our staffing shortage. All right, thanks, guys.